I'm very pleased with that potential thumbnail. <laughs> Come on, do your pose. Go. No, don't shout. That's not calm, Peachy. Come and do a calm pose. Good boy. What's this? Good boy. Well, Scammy, that's quite good. Sit. 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 Yes, good girl. Face the camera. Answer the camera. Cheeks, quiet. Smile. Cheeks. running out of battery right um basically welcome to the manor move i'm really excited that you guys have come to watch chief um this is a really rushed introduction because the battery's running out you're going to come with me through the week long move to the manor from dropping the dogs off to picking the dogs up we're going to go from day one to i don't know day six seven i'm in the middle of it now and i'm so grateful that you're watching and i'm excited to go on this journey with you so without further ado let's get moving <laughs> wish me luck i need it you will see me low points include me wearing my bra over my pajamas other low points include me generally looking horrendous throughout the entire um, process and getting quite stressed um but hopefully there's a happy ending i'm sure there will be there will be won't there there probably will be let's find out okay um come on let's do day one ready to get a new taxi chi chi <laughs> you mad dog <laughs> good boy chief yay good boy you climbed in Good boy! Good boy! You dressed and ready? Yeah? Come on then! Hop, hop. Ready! Good girl! Well done, dogs! Good boy, sweetheart! This is the last time that you will see this house. Hey, how do you feel? It's the last time. Good dogs! Oh, I'm gonna miss you for a few days. Right, pop in. Get your paws and your schnoz in. Back! Back, back. Good dogs. Is everyone ready? Good dogs. Good dogs. Got your stuff. Got your food. Good dogs. Lie down then. First stop, drop the dogs. Here we are. Oh, are you crying? Right, just got back from dropping the dogs. Bambi didn't want me to leave her, which was difficult. Um, front gate's open. Men are in. And... I've got to go and start helping. So let's go inside. Right, I should probably stop filming and start packing. Oh, we're on today two. It's currently. What time is it, babe? It's 4.30 in the afternoon on day two, and I'm about to tackle my wardrobes. So this is my outfit of the day. I don't want to dirty any of my existing clothes because I don't know when the washer dryer is gonna turn up. So this is the situation. These are my pajamas. This is my bra. And I'm just gonna pop a jumper over. I'm, no, I'm not just gonna wear this, that's weird. I'm gonna pop a jumper over, but yeah. Maybe I could turn it into like a thing, a look. Maybe not. No, maybe not. I mean, it's a Victoria's Secret bra, so, you know. 
I've not totally let myself go. <laughs> oh God, why am I filming this? Right, I'm gonna put my jumper on. I'll pop you up here so you can see the final look. So to complete the outfit, you just get a jumper. This is from White Stuff. Although they probably do not want to be associated with this book. You pop it on, like so. Just pop it on. Skin a bunny. No, that's the other way, isn't it? Lovely. And then you are at this point. At this point in the game, you will still be wearing pajama bottoms. Do not panic. You can easily snazz them up with a pair of Wellington boot socks. So they kind of become almost, you know, like a Shakespearean, Jane Austen sort of, not the same time, but you know, or is it the same? I don't know. Oh my god. Um, you know, just a, a breeches look because you have the the billowing top leg area and then the tighter ankle. I'll show you, and then you'll see you'll see what I mean. I won't need to explain. Okay, so just a simple pair of socks. These are from L. And then I don't know if you can see. Just pop one sock on and tuck. In, this is vital, tuck in the bottom of the pajamas. Other sock. Again, it must be tucked in to look legitimate. Let me show you the bottom. Let me show you the finished result. So we have a jumper, you know, just casually walking the dogs. I, ooh, just avoid my face because Just avoid my face. Come across me on a dog walk, you think, oh, who's this? Like, really cool woman, really mixing it up. And you have this. Oh no. Let's see how packed we are. Ooh, look how packed up everything is in here. Pretty much ready to go. <gasps> Everything's been. Lovingly folded and packed away. How about here? Uh -oh. We're in a spot of bother, aren't we? A spot of bother. We are in a bit of a pickle. It's day three of packing and moving, and I'm just starting to tackle the beauty room. I've done my back in, but anyway, I'm tackling the beauty room. Let's have a look. Box, box, box. Looking a little bit more sparse. Nightwear gone. Everything in here gone. But I haven't tackled this half of the room. I'm very behind. Let me show you the bedroom. So, well, the bathroom looks all right. It's getting a little bit done. The bedroom does not look okay. Oh, dear Lord. So that's fun. Always all right, and the dressing room is getting done. So, oh, pull these up. Oh my god, my back. So I've just got to write what this stuff is. Room contents. So a good tip is they're actually writing this on the masking tape. So because often movers boxes have loads of other stuff right now, so that's quite handy. Anyway, what's this? This is... Right, this is underwear. Hopefully they can read that. My writing's not the best. Let me show you. Can you read that? So, as you can see, I'm dressed like an actual child. I'm wearing my Nano Remo top, which stands for National Novel Writing Month, which is in the month of November. Uh, it's pretty cool if you like writing or if you, you know. Right, now I need to lug these outside. So, I think I'm not going to be able to lift this stuff very gracefully. So, I'm going to switch off the camera and rejoin you in the bathroom. <laughs> to the pub.
up and get some lunch. So let's go. <laughs> So we just picked up the keys and it's getting dark but we can't resist so we're going to go and have a look at the house. last night and it was too dark to film. Um, we've got a team of cleaners in, cleaning the house obviously, cleaning all the carpets and windows and inside all the cupboards and everything. And then the movers are going to come up in a couple of hours with uh, the gym stuff. So I need to make sure that access is clear for them um, and decide where everything's gonna go. So. Here we go. As you can see, the cleaning guys. Right, let's have a closer look. I'm not going to show you around with the cleaning guys because I don't really want to, you know, film in their faces. But I, um, I can show you the outside stuff. So let's let's have a look. You can see the cars full of the information about it and some crisps for me. <laughs> So bad, doesn't it? I've only had a few packets. I've only had a few, but I haven't had any breakfast, so. Spot the dead pigeon. Oh, gold. I wonder how he actually died, if he just like... Anyway, forget about that. For now, let's have a look at the garage. But this is the carport, and so far the guys have unloaded the wicker furniture. Then in the garage, we have the shelves from the old garage and what else have they given us? Have they delivered so far? Ah, the bases for the garden table. Lots of horse rugs, travel boots. Is there any in there? there is. That thing. What is that? I've actually got no idea what that is. Let's just pop these off. Got this place does need a clean. It's like I've just swept all the walls and everything, but you can see it's still a little bit. Yeah, just ignore that. Gaping hole in the ceiling. I tell you what, when you look around somewhere and you think, oh, that's fine, yeah. I mean, obviously there's gonna be work that needs doing. It's a really old place. You don't think much of a hole in the ceiling. But then when it's your hole, it suddenly feels a lot more serious. <laughs> Hello from the Defender, where I seem to live at the moment. It is moving day five. And I'm back at the manor to unload the kitchen stuff and receive the new fridge, which I am embarrassingly excited about. It is a Bertazzoni fridge. Um, it's like my dream fridge. So I'm really excited to receive that. Here we go. Doo -doo -doo. Oh my God. I love this door. fridge. Maybe I don't know by eye what 90 centimetres is. I don't know. 
Does that space look like 90 centimeters? Please fit, please fit, please fit. Right, whilst I'm waiting for this fridge, I'm going to show you the empty dining room. So that looks like so. Carpets have just been cleaned, which is nice. Um, and then what else can I show you? Just show you the living room, which is really beautiful. It has this antique mirror at the end. I don't know if you can see the little mirror spots in it, but I think that's really sweet. Um, again, we're going to redecorate in here. I also love this um, black and white floor. I think that's really cool. The snug is the study. Uh, we plan to kind of gut this room and have all a boot room side here and the dog's beds and a new utility side here. Let's have a look in the master bedroom. Here he comes. He'll probably move out the way or I'm gonna look mental. Is it gonna fit? Hey guys, right, moving day, serious. I don't know which day it is, five, six. Furniture is being put into the house. The sun's come out a tiny bit and I'm so excited. Okay, right, I'm gonna drive up the drive, start unpacking this stuff. Mama arrives in half an hour. Um, and she's going to help me. Also, a word on the fridge. Um, yeah, the fridge didn't fit depth-wise, which we hadn't been able to measure. I freaked out um, big time because the only fridge that does fit the space is five grand. And it's not even that nice a fridge. I mean, you know. It's not made of gold or anything. So I was, you know, I'm a bit like, oh, so I'm gonna call the, go in there now actually, measure up and phone the cabinet. in now as you can tell they're feeling right at home Jesus. will you behave will you behave just for a 30 second clip just behave like nice grown adult dogs okay ignore that don't worry about that I thought I'd give you a bit of an idea about what is coming up on this channel so that you can subscribe to it please um, so coming up is 
I'm gonna have a house tour coming up fairly soon. I'm gonna have lots of sort of before and after house renovations. We're gonna have the stables renovated, which is exciting, and move the horses into there. Routine videos, running the manor, a day in the life. We're gonna have some getting fit content, healthy routines. Um, because I am actually a qualified personal trainer, believe it or not. I have gained 20 pounds since my honeymoon. I'm gonna be doing some beauty and fashion content as well. Um, basically just a bit of everything, which is exactly what they tell you not to do when you start a channel, but. Are you gonna say bye, Scramble? Are you gonna say bye? Good girl, good girl. Say bye everyone. Bye. <laughs> How long am I going to keep waving for? Nobody knows. Not even I know. Right. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.